He ain't here, is he? I was born three months premature. Is Dr. Rachel in there? I had bleeding on my brain and I have cerebral palsy. Was Dr. Rachel in there when you walked by? Cerebral palsy is a muscular disability where it affects a part of the child at birth's human uh, body and it affects my left side. Somebody in there. But it hasn't stopped me. What's up? It hasn't gotten me down. Um, I try to put a smile on my face because there's still I still have life to live. Father, we honor you. Yes, uh, for another day. We yes, thank you for Lord. Uh, for I still have things to do, accomplishments to make. But at the same time, I'm still able to understand that I was born with a disability, but through the grace of God and through God's grace and mercy, that I'm still here. I know sometimes it seems that everything is broken, but guess what? Until the wreckage is where God's plans enter. How many of you know that Jesus will work it out? A lot of people want to live in a corner and die. Thank you, Lord. I don't, I don't, Thank I don't you. see myself doing that. I see Thank myself you, pushing until I can't push anymore. Thank you, God. So that others can see that even though he has a disability, you, he Lord. moves beyond any situation that he's faced with. On the outside, it would it would appear that there are physical challenges, and, and obviously there are. God bless you, Preach. Uh, what's special about Keith is he doesn't focus on that and doesn't allow anybody else to focus on that. You look good in them colors. Uh-uh. Shut, <laughs> yes. Shut it up. Shut it up. Good job. He's always been very happy, very jolly, you know, never never questioned his disability, never, you know, it never stopped him. He's always been the, you know, go getter. My Virginia State resume been crazy too, bro. Like, explain. Meeting with the president. Mr. Granderson. President Blue, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. How are you? Doing just fine. Good, good, good. Come on in. Keith Grandison is a is a very special young man. I think he represents all of what's great uh, about Virginia State University. Uh, I first came into contact with him uh, really via social media, not long after I was named president. And the reason why I'm a Trojan and I promote Virginia State University to the utmost is because you don't find places where you build that family. That's right. And you can go to any person, even come to I know people at other universities had, that never met their president. Yeah. But here, uh, the first person who reached out to me, I think on Twitter and LinkedIn and Facebook, uh, was Keith Grandison, saying that he looked forward to meeting with me uh, and getting to know me. And I didn't know him at all then. All I knew was what he had communicated. Uh, but when I met him and got a chance to spend some time with him, I don't, I don't know why, but I started calling him the mayor of Virginia State. And the first time I said it, it just, it just fit. But you're not one of those people who, who's going to tell me that... Uh, Kobe's better than LeBron. You're not gonna say that. Yes. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You just said you had a meeting with the president. Yeah. You talking about Barack Obama or you talking about the president of Virginia State? I think he got the meeting because of his outspoken personality. Like, when people see him, they expect him to be just shell shocked or they expect him to be not a real person. You know, like when you see a handicapped person and people staring at them, if he see you staring at him, he gonna talk to you and have a normal conversation with you. Nothing's about to be coherent. Y'all, next year, next semester. Here at Virginia State University, it's really been very impactful. Um, my goals here are to graduate in December 2016 and move on and to become a juvenile probation officer or something dealing with ju juveniles in the criminal justice system. You're, you should be putting subheadings in there. And of course, part one was what? I chose the criminal justice system because as you can cut on the TV and you can see many different young men don't have that mentorship that they need and that leader and that guidance to be able to say, okay, before you go into the system, this is what I need you to do. Keith Granderson is a senior at Virginia State University. He came to us during the summer to do an internship. He's a criminal justice major. So what I'm going to have you do is when you get in Monday. So his focus has been on developing programs, 
um, that focus on children who've missed some days of school okay. and engaging their families, the parents, as well as the children in various service plans that will help with um, to improve their school attendance. Being in, that I've worked here on the second... Mr. Grandison is knowledgeable about the things that are happening in the community and he stays pretty current as to some of the things that impact the population that we work with. My overall philosophy is that you got is somebody going through something worse than you are. Man, I don't need none of that cuz y'all know how I get and that's what I live by. That's what I wake up every morning and I think about because there is somebody out there going worse going through something worse than I am, the next person or anybody around me, uh, we have to remember that no matter what we go through, that God is still good and that he still brings us out of our situation and that, that there, there's a brighter day on the other side. There's, there's still more living to do. And that's the philosophy that I live by. Words can't even describe how I feel. Um, you know, every day is something different with him and it, it just makes me <laughs> glad to be his mother. God, I need you more than anything right now. God, I need you to be my strength, God. God, and do what you want to do, God, as long as you want to, God. But have your way with this servant, God. God, stand up and be seen in me, God. That they see none of me and all of you, God. Just have your way, Father. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable Thank in thy precious you. sight. Thank you! Thank you, God! Yes! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah!